What is up boys and girls? Welcome back. It's been quite some time since I did a video for the PlayStation Vita. Um, I've just been kind of hanging low. Low hanging fruit, I guess. I've been playing Dying Light 2 on the PC. And uh, I moved on from that, waiting for a new update and some new gameplay um, modes. Um, right now I'm doing Quantum Break, which is a great game. If you played Alan Wake, play Quantum Break, then play Control. They're all linked together. And Alan Wake 2, I cannot wait. But that's pretty much it. I've just been playing video games. You know, nothing's really caught my eye for the PSP nor the PS Vita. Um, I do stream um, once in a while. You know my YouTube handle, my uh, Twitch handle. I'll leave um, on the screen for you if you ever want to follow me, whatever. Um, I did upgrade my internet connection to a 1 gigabyte, so hopefully that works. I don't know if uh, 1080 will stream perfectly fine. Maybe I might have to do a 720, but other than that, um, let's get on with the video. Um, this video is a video game that I grew up with back in middle school, high school, pretty much middle school, called Rise of the Triad. Uh, it's a fun first-person shooter game. If you like Doom or Duke Nukem 3D or Quake, you're going to like this. Um, I got the full version files, um, so you don't need to worry about that. I'll link the uh, full version data files in my Google Drive, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, here's the site for the Rise of the Triad. I'll leave this link down in the description below, showing some images. If you haven't played the game ever again, um, ever, I should say. If you have, you know what it looks like. Um, you want to download the VPK file, which is super small, and uh, you want to download the data folder if you uh, don't want to follow the steps I'm doing. Um, but I already downloaded both files. The second link, I'm, I'll leave down the link um, below as well. This is how to go about installing the, the Rise of the Triad. Now, the full version I have is the GOG version, the GOG version. I haven't tried any other version like Steam or anything like that, but the GOG version f is fine, it works. Um, to get the working music, you need to download that Timidy, which um, is actually in the data folder, so you don't need to worry about that. So my VPK is on the desktop. All right, now I'm going to show you my full install of the GOG version of Rise of the Triad, which is right there. Next, let's go back to the download folder. Let's open up the data folder. Now, these two files you're going to be needing. So let's extract them to the desktop. Close out of that. Open this up. The shareware version is in, is in comes with the data folder. Download, or whatever you want to call it. So we're not going to do that because we're going to be installing the full version. Like I usually always like to do for you guys. Give you the full version so you don't have to play shareware stuff. So delete that folder. Now let's go back to the Rise of the Triad folder. Now all these files in here I'm going to drag and drop into the R-O-T-T-E-X-P-R folder. So once that's done, you're almost there. That's what I'm showing you right now. Transferred perfectly fine. Just tell. Let's close that. Let's close, minimize that. Next, I'm going to open up my FTP because I'm going to do everything FTP. I like FTP. And um, let's go back to the PlayStation Vita. All right, from here, you want to scroll down to where, wherever you have your Vita shell. Um, we're going to open, we're going to need to open up the Vita shell. So let's open this bad boy up. Next, you want to hit the start button. Now, it's up to you what you want to do, the FTP or the USB. I like the FTP. It's just, I don't know, I'm preference, I guess. And you want to hit the select button. And right from here, we're going to use the FTP client that I just uh, showed you in the previous clip and go from there. All right, um, since you got the IP, you want to enter that into the host. Like you see what I'm doing right now. You want to move over the port. And it's 1337, which is stands for Elite, L-E-E-T. Next, you want to go down to your UX0 folder, scroll down. Now, if you have a VPK folder, that's cool. I like to keep my things nice and neat and organized, so I do have one. So drag and drop to your, into the folder, the VPK file. You're more than welcome not to have a folder at all. It's totally up to your personal preference. Next, you want to go to the data folder. Now, you want to drag and drop both these folders inside the UX0 slash data folder. And let's give it some time to uh, 
upload. It shouldn't take too lo too too long. It's kind of a small game, small file anyway. All right, since that's finished, what you want to do now is um, you're more than welcome to um, just leave the computer as it is or just exit out of the cancel or disconnect the from the FTP client. Totally up to you. So let's head over back to the uh, PlayStation Vita side of things and I'll show you how the game works. Before we get started, I just want to um, take the time and just let you know that um, I'll play the game and um, I'm just going to be quiet throughout the whole process of the game itself um, so I don't ruin anything for you guys but other than that um, I'm just gonna leave you with thank you for watching the video um, like sub subscribe if you want totally up to you I know I haven't been active lately just been playing video games and work's been very busy for me as well so I just want to take the time to say thank you for sticking with me and if I've, I've probably lost a bunch of people followers too which I totally understand why well, follow someone who uh, is not consistent so other than that um like if you like dislike if you dislike and um i'll catch you guys around all right um from here um what you want to do you just want to hit the uh, cancel button the old button uh, you want to scroll down to the ux0 folder and i'm going to show you my vpk folder with the um vpk vpk for the game you want to install that it takes 10 15 seconds it's an awfully small file so once this is done, you're more than welcome to delete the VPK file, or you, you could hold on to it. It doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. Next, I'm going to show you um, that the data files did get transferred over. So let's start with the audio. There you go. The audio folder and stuff's there. Now the full game is right there. Now, this is totally peripheral preference. You're more, more than welcome to boot up the reboot the system, or you could always... Uh, Hit the PS button and swipe out of the Vita shell. It's totally up to you guys. It's personal preference, but I'm going to reboot the system. I'll see you on the dashboard.